Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. A very sad incident that would shock a lot of people has happened now again. This young man that you're seeing there, you feel so sorry once you hear his story. It's an unfortunate and heartbreaking incident. The young man is called David Odaigbo and he is a Nigerian tech expert. And you know, there was a particular kind of competition that actually happened. There's an amount of money that is meant to be given to the winner. And after that particular competition, this young man emerged as the winner and he was given $125 million. That was in the United States. If you convert it to Nigerian currency, this guy won exactly $69 billion. That is the huge amount of money that was given to him. But it's going to break your heart to know what eventually happened. As soon as this guy was given this money, the unfortunate thing has befallen his family. His family is meant to be happy, jubilating, and celebrating for this huge amount of money that he has won. But today, this guy would not leave to testify his joy and excitement of winning this huge amount of money. As soon as this happened to him, he went to bed, he slept, and he never woke up again. Guys, is this not heartbreaking? Someone who just won 69 billion naira, billion. This is not thousands, this is not millions, but billions. You can imagine how huge this amount of money he won can be or what it can do for the world even for a lot of families not to talk of one person that's to tell you how this money would have gone a long way for this young man after all his struggles and efforts after all his winning in the end this guy is not living to even have a test of a dying out of this money this morning his brother is saying that he actually this morning his brother and who is also a CEO of Retina Owl Health, Mr. Stephen Odaigbo, narrated how his brother passed away. With a very sad note he penned down, he said that his brother was fully vaccinated and was not even suffering from any form of COVID-19 symptoms. There was no symptoms at all. He was so healthy and strong. However, his brother, who is a CEO of Retina Owl Health Incorporation, that's Mr. Stephen Odaigbo, had to narrate what really happened to his brother because everybody is shocked. How come he was just giving this money, as soon as he was given the money, went to sleep and never woke up again? And we know once something like this happens, especially in Africa, it will be attributed to a lot of things. Some people would attribute it to either someone is after him or some would say it could be some diabolical activities that has happened to him. But the brother had to come out to clear the air so as to avoid people saying things or bringing out different comments as to what must have led to his death. Definitely, when someone like this passed away, after a huge amount of money given to him, a lot of people would say it's not ordinary. Some would say it's either someone poisoned him or someone did some enchantment upon him and that was why he died and the person is after his money lots of comments would have been flying around but the brother really had to come out immediately to ensure that the public know what happened to his brother he said that his brother didn't even have any symptom of covid at all and he had been fully vaccinated he took both shots and his brother was even an athlete healthy and strong but unfortunately that his brother had a cardiac asthma heart attack in his sleep and he passed on instantly from that sleep at a very young age of 42. he revealed that the death has left them devastated 
who won't be devastated? Who won't feel so sad? Forget about the money now. Let's talk about this young, healthy-looking man. Who would ever believe that someone like this would even go through any form of pain or cardiac arrest? He's so young. He's an athlete. He's healthy. He does all that he needed to do to keep himself fit. But at the end, this young man, with all his intelligence, with all his strength, he's not living to enjoy his life. After winning this huge amount of money, for him to even have something for himself, but death just said no, no to this man. And before his death, David wrote an algorithm for automatically dictating threats at airports and it won that 125 million, which was a contract from the Department of Homeland Security, bidding out companies backed by billions of dollars. There was a lot of people that actually came out to show that they can actually write down this algorithm but it was just this young man this nigerian guy who is based in the united states that's david adegbo that actually succeeded in writing this algorithm for automatically dictating threats in airports and you know such kind of assignments that are being given or such kind of research once you hit it and you get it right they are ready to go any length to pay you whatever amount you even want. Because these are researches that only people that really know it deep down can come out with something successful. He actually did that and came out with the technique and everything. So the United States official and government was so excited knowing that this was the only person that came out with a success in his algorithm that he wrote. It's really a painful one that this young man has passed away. Look at someone who is this talented. Imagine how many people had come out to say that they can actually write this algorithm. A lot of people participated. But in the end, it was just David alone that won this particular write-up of the algorithm. When you lose people that are highly talented like this, it's really a painful one. And his brother described him that he was a kind, gentle, brilliant, and humble young man. He also had a PhD in computer engineering and was a Kegel Grandmaster, the highest attainable skill level in practical machine learning. And he also introduced it to his elder brother. You know, he had the knowledge. He was very intelligent. He didn't want to keep it to himself. He also taught his elder brother and the algorithm which he wrote for automatically dictating threats at airports just won the 125 million contract from the department of homeland security that's in the united states about one week ago his code beats out companies backed by billions of dollars so he had beaten down lots of companies and these companies were giving billions of dollars to actually come out with this algorithm but none of them did. Imagine just one guy. So see how intelligent David was. Very, very intelligent. He outbeat all other companies that they had backed them up with billions of dollars. And in the end, it's so really sad. It's really sad that David did not live to watch himself grow. He did not live to watch himself getting the uploads from nations, from the world at large because what he did a lot of people had tried and attempted but they never got through but he, only him got through with it and as such the brother is so pain and saddened their entire family is so heartbroken with this sad news his elder brother has gone on to also say that while people safely fly the skies that please they should remember his brother because he was the one who wrote the automatically dictating threats at airports. His brother is really lamenting so bad and he said that their hearts are broken. His poor parents, his wife and two young children, his four siblings are all devastated. See, he's a married man with kids. Also, the elder brother is saying that himself and his younger brother David had both interests of each other at heart and they would often talk for hours and that their connection was rare 
and precious. They ended a phone conversation with, Love you. That was the last word that he heard from his brother. Though he died in his sleep, it's still another painful death. The brother is saying this, that you should hug your loved ones and tell them you love them while you still can and while you can see them alive. He ended by saying this, that though there may be sorrow in the night, joy comes in the morning. I'm comforted that David is with our Lord Jesus Christ. It's really painful that this young man has gone like this. Such an intelligent guy. That's why you keep asking, why is it that good people are just dying? Why is it that talented people are just dying? This guy, he has not even gotten to the peak of his life. He's just 42 years old. A very young man. When you hear stories like this, you feel so devastated and broken. Knowing that this person did not deserve to die so early. Well, like they say, we always go, God gives and he takes. It's such a pain that this guy has gone. Dying in your sleep, some people would say is a peaceful way to die. And some would deliberately say they would rather prefer sleeping and dying rather than anything happening to them as a result of that and let it lead to their death. Most people believe that sleeping and then you die in your sleep, it's the most peaceful way to pass away, to die and leave the surface of the earth. Well, individual differences, everybody has his or her own thoughts in mind. But notwithstanding, it's such a pity that he has gone so soon. Only God can console his entire family because a death like this, taking people unaware by shock, just imagine that they were awake thinking that David was still about getting up from his bed. He's still resting. Unknown to them that that would be the end. They would not see David or hear his voice again. May the soul of David rest in peace with the Lord. And may Almighty God console his brother, his entire family, friends, well-wishers, everybody that knew him. May God console them all. Friends, we should always appreciate every moment we have with our loved ones. Because the truth is this, we may never get the opportunity to express our love for our loved ones. The rate at which death is sweeping people away these days, it will just be ringing in your heart. And you'll be living in your mind knowing that you're going to go someday, but how? Sometimes some people will sit there and be asking, who is next? Because now death don't even give you any sign at all. Well, some people would say they had a feeling, negative feeling before something terrible happens. That's completely different. Friends, please, what do you all think about this? David, who just won 69 billion and then he now died in his sleep. Please, if you have anything to say, you can put that down at the comments section. Let's all be prayerful like I would always say and let's always commit our loved ones into the hands of God. Going out and coming in, let's pray that God should be in control. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.